to basics by b i'm Bundle and this is my channel in today's video i make a basic loungewear set and i must say i am overly obsessed with the piece that i've made i keep saying that it looks like i've shipped it in from overseas but actually i made it and i'm really proud of this piece and thankfully i filmed the entire process so that you can give it a try as well if you end up making this garment please do send me a dm or tag me in your posts on instagram so that i can see what your garment looks like and if you're here just for vibes and you're not actually going to try the garment i really appreciate you for being here please do like and subscribe and if you're here to actually try the garment i appreciate you too please do like and subscribe enjoy the video stay safe you're going to need fabric of your choice this is a ribbed stretch fabric elastic scissors pins matching cotton a top of your choice i am using the sports bra i am using a tight fitting pair of pants as a pattern and adding pins by the knees to guide me i start off by folding my fabric slightly to accommodate half of my pants going to do is just cut out the front part of my pants I have already folded my fabric and if you're going to use stretch fabric please be careful of the way in which the, the fabric stretches mine stretches in that direction so I want the stretch to go across my body and not down towards my legs the stretch needs to accommodate my hips and my butt so make sure that the stretch is going in the opposite direction of um, the length of the pants i use candles as weights to just keep the fabric underneath still because it is a bit tricky to cut out stretchy fabric so this helps a lot i'm not going to add any seam allowance i want my pants to be tight fitting especially on the top here and then as i move down i want them to flare out but you'll see as i cut I've reached the point where my knees are um, I want to start flaring out the pants so that we can have a nice um, flare shape when wearing them it's like a bootleg almost so yeah that's the kind of look I'm going for hopefully this works I mean I've never tried it so and I'm just eyeballing I'm not I'm not using any specific measurements I'm just eyeballing and hoping for the best bottom of the pants i do want to um add some seam allowance i'll add about two centimeters i actually add about three centimeters it's always best to have longer pants than um don't touch so just add about three or four centimeters of length because you're still gonna hem your pants and you do want to have some extra length <laughs> So I've just cut out the front piece. As you can see, I did flare out at the bottom of the pants because I want that bootleg sort of feel. And this is what the pattern looks like. This is my front pieces. And to label my front, I'm just gonna add like a pin here so that I know that my front pieces have a pin on them. So this is my sports bra which I have folded in half. I am putting the folded side of the sports bra in line with the folded side of the fabric. With the sports bra you don't cut, you don't cut it here. You keep it folded. I won't be cutting all the way um, here. I want a higher neckline so I'll cut around there. And then with the arms, with the armhole, arm sleeve, I wanted to come in a little more and I'll place my sports bra um, a little higher than the bottom of the top 
um, so that I can have some room to play around with um, the length of my top once I've started to sew. So I'm really just eyeballing this process. the exact shape of the sports bra but I want to just alter this so what I'm doing here is I am gonna start there I'm gonna go in like that and then out like that there you go it is done now so this will be the front of my tank top where this is my neckline this is my arm sleeve and yeah this is the rest of the top I actually decided that I want my front and my back piece to look the same so I'm gonna cut three more pieces this is my first piece and then we'll be making three more of the same just finished cutting all my pieces I have four pieces for my top two front two back mine are all identical so it doesn't matter which is which I have a waist band piece which I'm gonna add to the waist part of my pants once the pants are done two back pieces and two front pieces for my pants this waist piece is the same size as my waist measurement my waist measurement is 71 centimeters so this piece is 71 centimeters long by 9 centimeters wide because I'm gonna fold it I'm gonna fold it like so and with regards to the side that I want to be on the outside you can see that the root pattern here is a lot like these are thinner lines compared to this side so i will be making this the outside of my top and then this will be the inside similar to what i'm wearing now so this top that i made has this part on the outside so i am going to keep the same pattern for this so i've just put my one front piece and my one back piece together i'm just going to pin along the sides of each make sure that you don't pin this part of the pants because you won't be sewing that yet and also don't pin the top of the pants because that's where like your body goes in so yeah just one side and other side and that's it these corners here have to meet together you make sure that these corners meet and you just pin all the way around so I repeat the same process with the other leg good side good side facing up here your good side your good side will be facing down So for my tank top, I have two pieces for the front, two pieces for the back. I will be sewing these two pieces together the whole way. So I'm going to go from here, sew all around. I'm not going to sew this corner here. Sew all the way down here and across. So you're sewing everything together except leaving some space on each side of the top here so that you have a little hole in the shoulder because you're going to now flip this top inside out um, through there but you'll see that once i've sewn um, yeah same thing for the back sewing all the way around making sure i leave a space at the shoulder part the last thing i did was just fold my waistband in half and i pinned that down good side facing out so this is the only um, piece that has the good side facing out it's going to be the last thing that i attach to my pants so i am finally by my sewing machines i've already threaded my machine using that green cotton um, this matches the fabric that i'll be using i'm using both the sewing machine and the serger just to illustrate that they both do the same thing so you don't have to worry if you don't have the overlocker i'm only going to use the zigzag stitch to show you um, what it looks like using one of my pieces and then for the rest of my project i'm going to use my overlocker because it's a lot faster and efficient the zigzag stitch is really just to show you that you can use your zigzag stitch it does the same thing and you're not going to see a difference between 
zigzag stitch or overlock her. So I'm sewing my zigzag stitch really close to the edge. So not on the edge, but quite close to the edge so that I don't um, use up too much of my fabric. And I also didn't add any seam allowance. So yeah, it's just best to do it right on the edge of the top. And also try not to stretch your fabric as you sew because when, you, when you're done sewing, it's gonna be like a very wavy sort of vibe. So try not to stretch your fabric and let the sewing machine move the fabric forward. When you get to the edge or the corner, you just want to lift your, I don't know what this thing is called, getting a footer, I think. You just want to lift that, twist your fabric around so that you can realign. And then you put your footer back down and then you just carry on sewing. Okay, so I've done a zigzag stitch all the way around. As you can see, it's not the best zigzag stitching, but it does the job. I've stitched down this corner and I left the space here because what I need to do is I have to now flip this top inside out and it, it all needs to go through this hole to flip it. I'm repeating the same process using my overlocker. So this is my tank top. I have used an overlocker for this one. I used a zigzag stitch for this one. I am gonna flip my top inside out through this hole here. Easiest way to flip this over is to put your fingers through here, your thumb and your index finger, okay? So the aim is to pull from that corner on the inside. pull it through but you can just shake it out like so so I have flipped my top inside out and I'm just showing you how it really doesn't matter if you use the zigzag stitch or the overlocker your top still looks the same what I'm gonna do now is just attach the front piece to the back piece and have one top that's already done. It doesn't really matter which way I flip the top because both both sides are my good side for both the back and the front. So I'll be using an overlocker or even a zigzag stitch to go down the side, down the other side, and then attach it on the top of each side. Okay, so I've just overlocked it on each side and on the shoulders and I just need to flip it inside out now. It's done. Done, done, done. I am moving on to pants now. I am going to do an overlocking stitch all the way down and do the other side as well. Do not sew this part yet leave the crotch area open. It's just doing each side and I'll repeat that for both legs. I've just sewn the sides of my pants and now I want to attach um, my pants together. So I flip one leg inside out. This is the good side. I need to put my pants this one leg and put it inside the other leg. So you're going to attach the two front pieces together, but you don't attach the top. So this part you do not attach. You're only going to attach down here and all the way around so you use these two pieces attached together and you attach all the way around and then you sew to the top of this corner the crotch area these are my front pieces 
and these are my back pieces done now the only thing i need to do is just add a waistband on my pants but before i do that i actually want to try on the pants to see if they fit well if they're a little too big then i might make an adjustment by sewing in a little bit on the sides but i will make that judgment once i have tried them on I can run away from you Every step I take it's true Falling when I think of you now going to attach my waistband onto my pants i cut my long waistband piece into two one for the front one for the back the elastic so that it goes to only the back part of the pants and then i want the front to not have any elastic on it and just be a clean um, band and then this piece of elastic will go onto the back of the pants so that it can have a bit of a it's like getting like a ruffle at the back and then keep the front clean okay so i take my pants and they are the good side facing up i'm going to take my waistband for the front piece these are the front of my pants by the way front piece and i'm just going to pin them along the edge here So I'm first going to start with the front, I'm just going to do an overlock over the top here. Okay, so the front is on, the front piece is on, and so with the back, I want to add an elastic to the back. Okay, same thing for the back. Just going to overlock and attach the waistband to the pants and on the back i'm going to feed my elastic on the back part of my pants here all the way through to the other side i just need to find my safety pin I've now fed my elastic through the back part. I just need to enclose this here with a straight stitch, a zigzag stitch, but you need to do it multiple times because you don't want your elastic to, to, um, to go back through the avenue that you've created. And I need to do the same thing on this side. Just need to do a zigzag stitch or a straight stitch just to keep that in place. And in the back will be um, a little stretchier than the front. Once I've done that, I just flip this over inside out. And then I am going to use my overlocker and just overlock all the way to the top. Repeat the same process on the other side where I flip my pants back to front take my overlocker and overlock all the way up so I've attached the waistband to the pants and I've also attached the back elastic to the pants so those are done if you want to hem the bottom of your pants um, you are welcome to do so but I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna hem my pants at all and then the top is also done obviously you need to cut out all these little pieces but the top is also done so you have a two-piece loungewear set 